Yeah, if you guys would just let me uh, talk for a minute. I want to, anybody in the room met a, uh, talked to a president before? Raise your hand if you have. Uh, okay, it's pretty special. I was lucky enough to meet uh, 41 uh, when I was at Texas A&M, George Bush. And uh, he just had a big influence on me by the way he, one, he made me feel like I was the past president. And he was the basketball coach at Texas A&M. Um, but he was just a good role model and how much he loved his wife, Barbara, and his family, and how much he loved our country. So um, today's a sad day for me because of that, but I got a great story um, that'll be one of my greatest moments in my life. Uh, my son Will was a third grader at the time, and, and we were on the football field before the game. It was military day, and Bob Gates was there, and um, President Bush, 41, was there, and um, he walked up to him. Awesome. You said hello. It's pretty cool when a president knows your name, you know, and introduce yourself. Um, he always made you feel great. But he asked my son, he was wearing his uniform, what do you like to do? Or what's that uniform from? He says it's from a soccer game. And he goes, you know, soccer was the first game that I ever played. And Will goes, yeah, I know. I read it in your library. And for the next three or four minutes, he was so impressed with that that he talked to my son. So it's a moment. Uh, that I'll always remember. It was a great moment in my life. We lost a great man. Our country lost a great man. Um, and you know, hopefully, we can all be a little bit more like him, uh, servant, and uh, to the country, and uh, do what's best, and, and continue to be, you know, good husbands, good fathers, and everything else. So, thank you for letting me say that. It meant a lot to me. Um, great win today. Uh, every time we play Penn State here, it's a great game. Uh, they're tough. Reeves was terrific, uh, but we did a lot of great things. I thought Jalen Smith was defensively his best game since he'd been here. He did a great job on Stevens, 19 points on 24 shots. Uh, his length was terrific in the game. Um, started well, and they were great. And we, we weren't very good, and they cut it to one and a half, and we were good again, and they got, got the lead again. But in the end, our defense was terrific. Um, our rebounding was great. Their execution was better in the second half. So our biggest problem is turnovers. So before you ask uh, about that, we got to fix it. If we're going to be any good on the road, we got to fix it. Uh, but just a great win. One of those sounds a lot better than only one. That's for sure. So, Meyer Consulting Engineers. In the past five years, our organization has completed over 1,300 projects in the U.S. and abroad, including many structures at the University of Maryland. For structural engineering and materials testing and inspection, call Meyer Consulting Engineers. Um, Mark, uh, Anthony over his career has a penchant for hitting shots at the end of clocks, yeah. no matter what he's doing. You know, before that, I think he missed his last couple of threes, and, yeah. and one was you know, pretty questionable, maybe. But he, 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 his ability to hit shots in those situations, is that just sort of sums up who he is? Yeah, he, he's made a ton of those. Um, maybe not so a lot of them late in the game like that, but when the shot clock's going down, um, he, he makes tough shots. And uh, that's why you recruit. Uh, we were getting a little confused with their switching, when they were switching, not switching, and we weren't recognizing situations very well uh, late in the game. But that was a big time shot. Romello you know, did it for us a lot. Uh, Anthony did it tonight as a big time shot. So um, just proud of him. Uh, I thought he was much better in the second half. I thought his defense was terrific. Um, he's got to take care of all that, obviously. Coach, uh, talk about the 20 game Big Ten season after a first game like that that was so physical. Uh, is there a different way you approach this season because of it? I mean, this is December the 1st. Yeah, it's crazy. And. Um, you know, with the ACC challenge and you play preseason tournaments and then you start league play in December, late November and early December is pretty hard on Big Ten teams. Um, uh, but it is what it is. You, you, you've got to play the games. Um, Wednesday was an emotional game. We fought hard to come back. We lost, right? Losing is hard. It's the first time we lost. It took me, you know, I had a lot of conversations with some players um, Thursday just trying to get them back mentally to where we needed to be. So um, I thought mentally we, we were pretty good today considering what we went through. But yeah, it's going to be tough. We've got 19 more of those. Um, and only 
eight more at home because we gave up one home game. We have to go to New York uh, to play. So uh, it is what it is. We got to become a deeper team, obviously, for us to, to be successful uh, in league play. But it is physical, and it, you know it is what it is. But uh, I, I think we can make life a little bit easier on ourselves if we just take care of the ball a little bit. Thank you. Our last game against Virginia, you went small in the third in the second yeah. half. And well, tonight, uh, obviously, uh, Bruno and Jalen were pretty strong. For you. Yeah, uh, they were terrific. And as long as Sticks could guard Stevens, we were going to stay big. Um, I thought Bruno could guard him a little bit. He guarded him well one possession. He did in the other two. But I think hopefully, as we move into when we play him in Jan late January, February, whatever we play him, uh, Bruno can give us a little minutes there too. But um, Big was our lineup. It was our lineup. Um, slowed it down a little bit. Um, called a lot more sets um, to get the ball to the right guys or try to get the ball to the right guys uh, during that time. But um, every game's different. But tonight, the big lineup was, was, was a good lineup. Uh, where, where are you seeing Jalen improve defensively? And was it important for us to have a good night tonight after? Wednesday, we didn't play as much and score as much. Yeah, it was it was terrific. So we we guard the ball a lot. We work on guarding the basketball a lot, and we bring guards down to guard. And so we did that yesterday. We played one on one, and uh, we just you know I had the guard shot faking a lot, and doing things. We still went for the shot fakes a few times. But I thought Sticks just used his length and stayed down. And I thought his first step defense was really good today. So didn't come forward, put a hand on him, used his length. And Space, so uh, that's a that's a huge deal today. What Sticks did. Let's don't take that loud. That's a heck of a player that he was guarding. For Sticks to take that next step for us was really big. You mentioned needing to go deeper eventually, or I think it was two minutes from the bench in the second half. How much of this is kind of a? I know you say every game's different, but is there kind of a in your mind a big picture? what you kind of have to do to extend that a little bit, or do you just kind of take it as a game by game? No, I, and you're, I know we played uh, Wiggins more than that. I think he probably played 10 minutes. I meant the top six guys. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, we wanted to win the game. That's what's important. Our locker room is really happy right now. So we coached to win the game today. Um, but i got to figure it out. Um, you know, I guess Sorrell in there. Sorrell's a good player. And i got to figure out our backup post, what I'm going to do there. Um, it's not small. And uh, i got to tell Thursday to try to figure it out. So we'll see. Um, I think that's important in figuring out how to take care of the ball is our next, next step for us. Uh, Stevens was kind of consistent in the first half of the second half in terms of what he was yeah. producing. But Josh Reeves obviously pretty much yeah. shut out in the second half. I don't know what changed. Okay. Well, um, I thought he made some really tough shots in the first. I thought one he double pumped and it went in. I was like, "Are you kidding me?" Um, cut it to twelve to nine. Um, and then the thing about Josh Reeves, there was like three of them on defense. So every time he turned around, he's getting a hand on a ball. Or doing, I was like, "Come oh, here!" So that's you know he really dictated the game defensively. Second half, Daryl played more. Daryl guarded him. Daryl's a good defender. Um, I thought around the rim, our length bothered him when he went to the rim. Because um, he's really good at going and finishing in there. And I thought our length really uh, affected, affected him. So um, then he missed some shots and he made in the first half. Uh, but he was terrific. God, was he good for that? Thanks, Coach. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you.